Hi, this is Danny Jones, and uh, I, I'm working on a 15-inch uh, diameter, inch and a half thick uh, plate glass mirror blank. It's a telescope mirror, and uh, I'm doing some work to the to the back side. I, I, I believe that uh, grinding the back side pretty 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 darn flat is, is really important uh, um, for the for the telescope system. And this particular blank. Um, uh, when I I cast these blanks myself, and when I cast this one, um, this actually rested on a bed of uh, of sand in the glass oven, and uh, and when it came out, uh, it didn't have a particularly uh, flat surface. It, it was pretty grainy, pretty rough, sand particles embedded in it and stuff. I mean, not deep, but uh, they were stuck to it. So um, I wanted to make this I want to make this flat. So uh, what I did is there were some there were some really high spots here and there, and I just took those off with the angle grinder and a, and a diamond blade, and uh, of course that <laughs> didn't leave a, a really good surface there. But uh, so then I started to uh, grind the surface of this with uh, number 36 uh, silicon carbide, and uh, we got a lot of that roughness out, and made it relatively flat, and uh, I've got an, I put a nice bevel on there so we don't have any chipping. Um, this is a turntable here. It can turn at various speeds. I used a, a grinding method called fixed post grinding or uh, some people call it spin grinding or, or spinning. Um, call it what you will. And uh, there's a post that comes down through here and it holds a grinding tool in place. And as the turntable turns, the grinding tool is also round but it's a smaller diameter and uh, <clears throat> the differential, the the grinding table forces the tool assembly to turn around on top of the mirror as the turntable is turning, and the differential between the two is what causes the grinding. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I got this out of the oven, and it uh, didn't have a very good. It had a pretty rough surface, so I I grinded it off with uh, number thirty six carbide and uh, got some of that roughness out and then I started to grind with uh, number 80 silicone carbide which I, I marked it there so the next time I start on it I know where I need to start so but there were some interesting things about the surface here and some different areas that I need to work on like uh, here I've got it outlined and I wrote barely visible on it and what that really means is is uh, I don't know how, how well you can see it in the video but um, I can see it and when I put my finger across it I can see that uh, it's really rough right there where the uh, particles of sand was was on it and uh, so the grinding actions that I've done so far from 36 and through 80 I haven't done too much with 80 yet but uh, this little area right here apparently is just a little bit lower than the rest of the, the surface and it, it really hasn't done much to it yet it has just started uh, to skim the surface of that so I know that this area here is just a hair lower than the rest of the mirror so the rest of the mirror has to be ground down enough to where it takes that out too and uh, also I'll, I'll use a spirometer and I can check you know the flatness you know maybe it's concaved a little bit or or convex a little bit and and to fix that is uh, the grinding tool that rotates on the top and if I move that towards the center if it's becoming convex I'll move it towards the center and that moves the mass towards the center more and works on the center more and lowers the center and if it starts to become concave I adjust it slightly out and and uh, move the mass towards the outside and uh, we'll lower the outside so either way I can I can measure it frequently quite often it's not a drastic change and uh, I can keep it relatively flat through the whole process without um, taking the, the thickness of the glass off too much. So, so that, that works out pretty well there. But here I've got this little area um, where the sand particles were in it, and it's just starting to get ground. So I know that I need to do some more work on the outside here. And uh, the inside here is uh, fairly consistent with number 80 grit. And I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's a little light spot right here, just barely which means that uh, the center needs to be ground just a little more and I've only ground a little bit uh, with number 80 so a couple of more sessions on number 80 and that'll probably come right out and then 
this area is good and it's good through about this area here so this whole area here is mostly good and consistent with number 80 grit except for that spot there that I need to do and then up here is a lighter area it's a little rougher looking in nature and uh, those are still uh, the the particle breakdown from the from the number 36 grit which the number 80 really hasn't done too much to that yet so <clears throat> I've got to uh, fix those problem areas and get them to all match the 80 grit surface so and I've just done a couple of quick sessions um, with the mass moved uh, inward a little bit for the for the 80 grit here and because of these two areas this fairly large area here it's at about the 80 percent zone and on out on this side it's also on the outside so I know that when I start again I need to move the mass slightly outwards a little bit to, to get those areas uh, ground down and smoothed out to be consistent with number 80 and uh, in, in the meantime while I'm doing that I'll use the spirometer and, and check for flatness and uh, we'll get that all ground through 80 and once it's completely flat <clears throat> and uh, it's consistent with the, the grit that I'm working on with uh, 80 or, or even 120 I might go that far then I'll go ahead and I'll grind the rest of the grind the whole <clears throat> excuse me I'll grind the whole surface down to through about 25 micron and, uh, and then we'll flip her over and we'll start working the front side so that's how I do that that's how we get those backs ground flat on this uh, fixed post grinding method thanks for watching